Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. Yes, we are a bit behind. As always, you guys know uh, my schedule is really crazy. So for those of you guys that are new to my channel, welcome. For those of you guys that have been following us for a while, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you guys can get notified of all the videos that are going up. Um, before we get into your reading Libra, I want to give you guys a quick update. For those of you guys that like to shop on our online store, you'll be able to find a lot of your favorites are back in restock, um, as like the soap line, a lot of your favorites. Uh, it, it's a process because we do everything naturally and we do it specifically, uh, ritualized. So it, it's a process and it takes a while, but you'll be able to find a lot of your favorites back on stock as well as the candle line that we just recently released. These are uh, candles that are specifically ritualized, prepared, consecrated through ceremonial rites. They are empowered depending on what it's for. So you'll be able to look at those on our online store as well as your favorite oils. So anyways, let's get into your reading. Libra, let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March, 2022. Spirits, give us the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Give us communication with the element of air. Give us finances and career, element of earth. Give us the challenge, element of fire. Emotions and relationships or partnerships, element of water. And spirits, general energy for the month. All right, here we go. We have your first card here is the strength card. Okay. General energy here is the Four of Cups. What I'm hearing is you may be experiencing or feeling a little bit depleted, Libra, a little bit um, not as excited or perhaps not as passionate about what you're doing right now. Uh, this could represent uh, complacency. So again, um, I would redirect this energy and put more attention or effort towards the things that really motivate you, that get you going. That's the only way you can maintain your focus because at at this present time, uh, there's a little bit of downtime or feeling like things are not progressing as quickly as you would want. Uh, so again, be productive in the aspect of doing the things that you love, that inspire you. All right, when it comes to communications, you have the strength card. So you may be dealing with a Leo energy for some of you guys. For others, it could just represent feeling a little bit more confident in the way uh, you express yourself. And what I'm hearing is, a little bit more bold in the way you express yourself. A lot of the times, I know you guys have difficulty, right? When we're talking about confrontations or when we're talking about having the need to um, step up or having the need to draw a line in the sand. And I feel that for this month of March, you're going to be a little bit more aggressive in that aspect. And that's a beautiful energy if you want me to be completely honest. Uh, why? Because I see you guys very much more assertive for this month. I see you guys... Um, really, like I said, drawing the, the sand on the line or <laughs> drawing the line on the sand. Um, creating boundaries is what I'm hearing. So that's definitely a good thing. Uh, I think it's something that has been brewing for a while for you guys. And I feel like you're feeling much more empowered and more confident to do so. Now, when we're talking about uh, finances and career, you have the full card here. So you have two major arcanas, uh, major changes that are happening. Uh, this could be astrologically, your natal chart may be activated at the present time. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be new romance, new passion, or your passion being reignited. For others of you, this could represent new opportunities. Some of you guys uh, perhaps recently started a new project or will be uh, starting a new project in the month of March. Um, that is going to help you. And again, I feel like there is a need for you to think on your feet, which is going to make you be a little bit more assertive um, and it's going to boost your confidence for sure. So I feel that this is a very beautiful type of energy here. Now, the obstacle here with the element of fire, uh, the challenge for this month is the eight of wands. So the eight of wands, I feel like uh, March and probably April are going to be a little bit busier than what you've been dealing with because we did see the Four of Cups uh, feeling of a bit of slowdown or things not picking up. That's quickly going to be changing for you guys, Libra. And I feel that the challenge here with the Eight of Wands is you're going to be feeling like you're time restricted, like you don't have enough time or like you're being pulled towards different directions and things are just picking up rather quickly. It's almost giving me a feeling of I could barely keep up. Um, not necessarily a negative thing because I think that when we become busy, 
or things are moving rather quickly, um, it just, you know, facilitates us to getting us to where we want to be. And I think that you have true potential here, Libra, for the month of March. Like I said, I feel that this month is going to be very powerful in regards to growth and advancement for you guys with the strength and the full, uh, definitely having the courage and the power within yourself to set out on something new and to make changes happen. Um, again, feeling a little bit like time restricted or feeling like you don't have enough time, maybe something that you struggle for this month. And when we're talking about connections and relationships here, we have the high priestess. So powerful reading for you, Libras. You guys have three major arcanas off the bat, um, which is most of the reading. Uh, so again, for some of you guys, your natal chart may be, or birth chart may be ignited, may be empowered right now, depending on the planet alignments and in, in the houses that they're in for you. For some of you guys, I feel like uh, 12th house may be very strong right now, which is intuition, spirituality, um, thinking outside the box. Uh, High Priestess also indicates to me the having to understand that you've gotten to the point where there is major transformation that needs to happen. And in the past, perhaps you doubted yourself or didn't want to take those steps to get you there. Uh, but at this point, you're definitely going to be pushed to continue growing Libra. This could be relationship wise. If you're dealing with people that are just very inconsistent or that is purely on a physical level, I feel like you've grow I've outgrown that situation. And at this point, you're looking for something more substantial uh, or a little bit more with depthness. And that's quickly uh, gonna, situations are going to be arising that allow you to kind of really, you know, take a step back and be like, well, uh, this is not necessarily what I'm looking for at this point in my life. Uh, this could be connections as well. This could be cutting links with people that are uh, kind of a heavy burden for you guys or keeping you guys down. I see you guys very motivated. And like I said, I feel that March is only the beginning of the changes that are coming for you guys. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Until then, bye.